Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new topic in Mappy Arts, which is all about the majestic architecture and sculpture of Luzon. This will be the first quarter topic and weeks 2 to 4. This topic is a milk based. One of the architecture of Luzon is the Cali Crisologo. It is a narrow and cobbled stone 15th century Spanish street in Vegan, Ilocosur, and is considered to be one of the heritage sites in the Philippines. It is lined with antique houses and shops, leading to be town's 100-year-old churches. Vegan is considered as the Entramoros of the North, which retains the Spanish colonial architecture, a fullness of life on the celebration of Festival of the Arts. The Spanish type houses in Cali Crisologo are made of adobe, bricks, lime, terracotta, hardwood, floors, and windows of capis shells framed in wooden window panels with huge high pitch roofs, large and rectangular living rooms. Another architecture is the Tumauni Church. The Mauni Church is a Baroque church that was built in 1873 and can be found in municipality of Tumauni, Isabela. The structure was built entirely of reed bricks and done in the style of late Baroque or early Rococo. The Mauni Church has a four-story bell tower that looks like a wedding cake. It is a Roman Catholic church parish church of San Matias Apostol and is considered the most artistic brick structure in the country. Another architecture is the Spanish Gate. Spanish Gate is located in Olongapo City, Zambales. It was built in 1885 and serves as the entrance to original Spanish naval station that provides repair, ammunition, supply, and medical support for ships. Spanish Gate has high walls made from locally quarried stone connected to the south gate that faced the waterfront. It was used as a jail during Spanish and American occupation. Another famous architecture of Luzon is the San Andres Apostol Parish. The San Andres Apostol Parish Church, popularly known as Masinlok Church, it is a 19th century Baroque church located at Barangay South Poblacion, Masinlok, Zambales. The San Andres Apostol Parish Church church structure is a standout among the Spanish era churches in the central Luzon region for having built with coral stone instead of adobe stone. Its belfry is designed like a circular template with lantern and cross. Another famous architecture in the Luzon is the Parish of the Three Kings. The Parish of the Three Kings in Gapan City is a Roman Catholic church built in 1800s and is one of the biggest and oldest churches in the Nueva Ecija. The Parish of the Three Kings in Gapan City has huge side doorways with two standing images of their patron saints on both sides and a mural of the Holy Trinity on the ceiling with the style of Byzantine architecture. Another famous architecture of Luzon is the Saint Dominic de Guzman Parish. The Saint Dominic the Guzman Parish Church, also known as Abukay Church, it is a 17th century Baroque church located at Barangay Laon, Abukay, Bataan, Philippines. It was built in 1587 and was administered in 1588 by the Dominicans. 
The St. Dominic de Guzman Parish Church has a Renaissance architecture with five-layer bell tower defined by decorative balusters and ornamented with semicircular art windows. Now let us proceed to the famous sculpture of Luzon. The first one is the Bulul. It is a wooden sculpture also known as Bulul or Tinagtago that represents the rice granary spirits that guard the rice crop of Epogaus. The Bulul has a carved human wooden figure with simplified forms made from a Nara tree which signifies wealth, happiness, and well-being to the Epogao. Another famous sculpture of Luzon is the Paete. Paete in Laguna is considered as the wood carving capital of the Philippines. Paete is popular for the carving culture of saints and other religious images, decorative carvings of floral patterns and geometric designs. Another famous sculpture of Luzon is the Higantes. Higantes are big papier mache caricatures of humans that represent farmers and fishermen. But according to stories, the original Higantes were a representation of hacinderos during the Spanish colonial period. The Higantes are rendered as a man or woman in various costumes. Their faces give a commanding look with their hands on the waist. The earliest Higantes are composed of a father, mother, and a child. It is originated in the art capital of the Philippines, the Angono Rizal province. Music 